The latest now on the state's flu scare. Concerns continue tonight about a potential outbreak of the H1N1 virus. Health officials predict 30 to 50 percent of Rhode Islanders will become infected with the virus. Right now, 203 people have tested positive for H1N1 in the state. There is a vaccine you can get to help protect yourself. And today, state leaders met to discuss how to help residents from a possible pandemic. Eyewitness News reporter Nick Anuosu joins us live with more on the meeting and which organizations are helping health officials in the event of an outbreak. Karen, we met with representatives from Serve Rhode Island, an organization that is currently looking for civilian volunteers to help out in the event of an H1N1 flu outbreak. Serve Rhode Island is the hub that links volunteers with organizations throughout the state. And in the event of an H1N1 outbreak, the state could look to them for extra hands. H1N1 concerns all of us, and what we're going to find is as the community becomes impacted, there is going to be a need for volunteers. The CDC predicts 30 to 50 percent of the population could become infected. To handle the crisis, the state may set up vaccination clinics. The health department and emergency management will also need help getting the word out. And Serve Rhode Island is already starting now to get volunteers. There are millions of ways that you can help out. And they presented those ways to the Lieutenant Governor and Emergency Management Advisory Council this morning. The more prepared you are, the better off you're going to come through anything that comes across your path. Now, if you're interested in volunteering at a possible vaccination clinic or anything else that may be needed in the event of an H1N1 outbreak, information to volunteer can be found on our website, WPRI.com. Live with the Providence Mobile Newsroom, I'm Nika Nwosu, Eyewitness News.